So uh, we're just going to be using a uh, conical traditional style uh, rope dart. This one comes from the uh, Rope Dart Academy um, and uh, we'll take you through step by step how to uh, wear and tie each of these harnesses. So here's the, uh, the first way of wearing the dart. It's a very simple uh, just wrapped belt um, done using a chain or daisy or monkey chain knot. Uh, there's yeah, a couple of different names. Very easy not to do. Um, also, when you're ready to use your dart, you can just undo the belt, it just falls off, and you're ready to start using this chain length dart, which can be used like a, uh, a chain whip or a long poi. Um, and of course, when you're ready to use it, you can just throw it out. The whole thing will just come undone, ready to go straight away. All you do to, uh, to tie this knot is locate a ring. I like to use the ring closest to the dart head and take a loop through the dart head like that. Reach through the loop like that. Grab the rope and create a second loop. And just keep doing that over and over. You can make the, uh, the loops long or short as you like. Um, the longer they are, the more realistic your uh, chain whip length is, but of course the, uh, the shorter the loops, the uh, better the appearance of the, uh, of the knot, which can look very aesthetically pleasing. Um, and it doesn't take much practice to get this done. You would have seen this in other videos. Um, there you go. Once you get to the end, um, if you want to lock it in place, you can take the, the handle through, um, but I just like to just tuck a little bit through so you don't have to unlock the whole thing, you can just pull it when you're ready. So yeah, then you take it under the belt, around the waist like that, wrap the dart around, get the head, bring the head over, tuck it in, sturdy. And uh, of course, ready to go, as I said, like that. Okay, so here's our uh, next uh, fairly simple traditional body harness, which uh, would have been worn under a jacket or something like that to conceal your dart until you need it. Um, it's very easy to tie in the front, quite secure, and it has this X-shaped pattern in the back. Quite easy to, uh, to get, uh, get to from a, a simple... Um, Okay, so we should end up in this basic setup. You've got the two loops in front of you, you've got your handle, you've got your dart head. Wiggle everything so you're into a comfortable position so that the dart head is held in place by your side loop. So take the loops, make sure they're uh, only just overlapping like that, which will give you um, maximum uh, handle length to use for the lock. The way we lock it is we take just a, a bite, a bent loop, and take it through the crossover. You see how it's crossed over there? You take that loop and just put it through like that. So you end up in this sort of shape. Then you take another loop from the handle end and just push it through that loop on the other side of that knot. Tighten that all up. Good to go. Yeah, comfortable, easy. X pattern on the back. And uh, once you're ready to use it, left hand pulls. And then right hand takes dart around the neck and then throw and off it all goes. Okay, so this is the suspenders style body harness. Um, it's a little harder to tie, it has a similar X pattern in the back, except it come over, uh, comes over the neck rather than around the body at the top. Um, this one's uh, quite a good tie, uh, a little difficult to get secure. Um, often you have to tuck the dart in to your belt or something like that to stop it like pulling everything off to the side. 
Um, you can tie it in two different ways uh, with regards to releasing. I prefer to use the dart as the release point. So you can just pull it out and then do a throw turn or a uh, overhead throw like that to get it all off. Um, but uh, yeah, personal preference. Um, I'll just quickly show you how to tie it. So you take your dart and your leash to the sides that you would uh, all ordinarily have it and then reverse it. So you'll have your dart on the opposite side and your leash on the opposite side to your usual preference. Once you've come to that position, so now my dart's on my left and my leash is on my right, you take them over behind your back again to create this shape. So they're just hanging down like that, hanging in front like this. Reach behind you and take the dart end first and bring it around to the front. Reach behind and take the left. The loops can be higher or lower depending on how much rope you have. Ideally, I uh, would keep them around uh, rib cage sort of sort of height on guys. It's a little bit higher there, so there's a bit more security with the, the rope coming underneath and securing under there. So uh, yeah, that's uh, what you want to look for. Once you get there, you bring a loop from both sides through these front loops like that. There we go. So you should be kind of locked up and comfortable here with this X shape in the back with a, a bit of rope on the back of your neck just here. Now comes the tricky part. We're going to perform what's known as a lap knot, L-A-W-P knot, lap knot or lap bend. Um, this uh, knot uh, is somewhat rare, so tutorials are a little difficult to find. Um, and we're going to be tying a version on the bike, which means we don't use the, the actual end to tie it. So, in order to, to do this, you take your left handle, boom, yeah, your handle end, and pull it through this loop, which is where the dart is, like that. There. Okay? Easy part. Um, next part, you find the part of the rope that's leading to the dart head and take a section of that underneath everything and then pull a loop through the loop that came from the left side. And once you do that, you can pull it tight with the left and you get this shape. So this version, the way that I've just shown you the knot, is so that when you're ready to use this harness, you pull the dart and it all comes off. So, like that. If you prefer to do the, uh, the handle as your release point, which is totally fine, all you do is just the exact opposite. So, the, uh, the right side would then come through the left handle side, the part leading down to the handle would come up and go through that loop from behind, the dart would pull tight, and there you go. This version is probably more secure because the dart is heavy, so it's constantly pulling on that loop, and unless you have it tucked somewhere, it will pull the, uh, the harness off. And so when you're ready for this one, because the, the leash is much lighter, it's more likely to stay there, same thing, pull off, and there you go. And just like uh, I said earlier, the way you throw it off is just either over the shoulder or around as you release to, um, to let it all fly off from behind you. Alright, so here's the butterfly chest harness or the butterfly vest uh, body harness I'll be showing you. It's functionally similar to the suspenders harness, um, however you can do a version that doesn't have the crossover in the back, which gives you a little bit more freedom with uh, tying in the front. It's attached on both sides using that same lap knot that we used in the center of the suspenders harness. Um, so that when you want to use this one, you detach both like that, and then you can throw it straight out and away from you over the top like that. 
If you do it with a crossover in the back, it makes it a little bit more likely to snag around the neck. I think it's safer and cleaner to do it with the, uh, the non-cross in the back and just have it coming behind the arms. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, unlike the suspenders one, we keep uh, the dart on the same side that we would always have it. So on my side it's dart to the right, hand to the left. And then just take it behind the back. Make the same suspenders shape here. Bring the dart and handle to their respective sides. So in the back it looks like this. Just the two vertical lines behind the shoulders. Which is enough if you've got it tight enough to keep it quite steady on the body. So once you're comfortable, you get your uh, suspenders, you take the right one through the left one, like that, and then take the left one back through the right one again. And you get this diamond shaped thing in the centre like that, and you have these um, crossover loops that will untangle hopefully quite easily when you uh, detach your handle and dart. You create the lap knot by taking that loop through a loop made with the dart. The dart part of the rope comes around from behind everything and then through that loop. Tighten and secure like that. Same on this side. The loop goes through a loop with the handle. Handle part of the rope comes up behind everything and through that loop like that tighten bit of wiggling to get it all into uh, position and there you are um, once again because the dart is heavy it's good to have it sitting in the belt so that you uh, don't end up going all lopsided when you're ready to use it it's a that quick pull lap knot so you can just pull both like that and then hopefully it will all just fly off over the top of your head like that. All right.